My goal for my students when they graduate, it doesn't matter if they go to a four-year college, a two-year college, a trade school, or straight into in engineering, or straight into the industry. My goal is to have them out there with some tools in their tool belt to get them above everybody else. I'm Gregory McNew. I go to Tribuca Hills High School. I'm a senior this year, and I think I'm studying to be a manufacturer engineer. Hi, my name is Carter McCarthy. I'm a senior here at Topeka Hills High School and I am studying to be a biomedical engineer. My engineering program is set up in a way where freshmen can come in not knowing anything about drafting and what they'll do is they'll learn all their hand drafting skills. We'll do drafting tables for a short period of time. After that they'll go to my second year. The second year is when I start teaching them how to use SolidWorks through Solid Professor and understanding how to do that. That would be the second level. Then I'll teach them a couple of other things, some projects to do with that. After that, my third year is where they put it all together. They'll put in what they've learned with their hand sketching to SolidWorks and they'll use my CNC machines, my 3D printers, and my laser cutter to develop a project, an idea that they have to invent. In fact, they do patent searches to make sure it's their invention. Then my fourth level year, that's when we go into robotics, we go to electronics, and then computer engineering. And that's, that finishes up the fourth year there. So um, my instructor gave me a uh, SolidWorks code and a Solid Professor code to um, get into his program because he wanted me to have some prior knowledge before I took his course. And so I had an internship that summer. I was able to apply my SolidWorks knowledge to and uh, learn it as well. Um, when they brought SolidWorks into Tribuca Hills High School Engineering program, it was, it was incredible. It blew my mind that one software could do so many things. And uh, I ended up getting a, uh, my, got a class, class code, and I ended up taking it home. And my dad, who's been doing stuff on older things like Mastercam and stuff, came in and thought it was super cool. Like, and then he started asking me questions about it. Next thing I know, where he works is getting seats for it. Well, to what helps them get there a lot is the SOLIDWORKS certification. If they go into college, they can um, come out of the beginning class. In other words, we're articulated means they're getting college credit for this class. So if they get their certification, they're able to um, pass up the beginning class and automatically go into the second level. In industry, it gets their foot in the door so that they can have that interview, of, at least the interview, and then they can show them what they can do. They had me, asked me to bring in a resume, and I'm like, oh gosh, this is the first resume I've ever made before. And I was able to put stuff on there like I got my certification, and the owner of the place reading over it in front of me was like, oh, you have your SOLIDWORKS CSWA certification? I was like, yeah, and he's like, oh, it'll come in handy. You'll be able to help read 3D models and stuff like that. And I was like, sweet. <laughs> so my hope is that they use all the tools they've learned in my class from SOLIDWORKS to designing things to figuring things out to get them to go from concept to product easily. I currently have the CSWA certification, which is, is cool. Being able to go at 17 and tell people I have a certification in a worldwide used software like SOLIDWORKS is incredible. I think it gives me an edge over other people. Um, by getting certified in SOLIDWORKS and using SOLIDWORKS, I'm confident that my students will have a great career ahead of them.